what is going on everybody so in this video i'm going to talk about cameron james one of the three defensive linemen that just committed to the florida gators now i already had the reaction video for cameron james kind of set up but with all this craziness with the florida gators i had to kind of scrap it i was like let me just redo this because it is just beyond crazy right now but listen cameron james if you are not familiar with him, he is from Orlando, Florida. He is six foot six and a half, 265 pounds. He is now nationally ranked 221. He was in the 180s, but I guess once you commit to Florida, they drop you down for some reason. Uh, I don't know. I saw that on Twitter. A lot of people were like, come on, you got to make it a little more, you know, not as obvious, you know, when you're trying to drop players down, which is. It really is kind of weird. You know, a, a lot of social media was kind of going a little crazy as I'm making this video. Saw it right before I started. But, you know, I thought that was kind of maybe a little unfair to the player. Now, Cameron James, you're going to see in, in a lot of these videos, he's a little raw out of the three defense alignment that the 4 Gators got. Uh, I think he still needs to work on some technique. I think he knows that. Now, that's no knock on what kind of a talent he is because you're going to see on the highlights. But listen, this guy primarily played basketball growing up, so he's still learning football right now. But man, just on his sheer talent, if this guy gets some coaching, if the right defensive line coach, like at the University of Florida, can get a hold of this guy and teach him how to play the defensive line like you're supposed to, this dude can be an absolute monster. He's a little bit on the lighter side, 265. But when you look at the highlights, he doesn't look like that. He looks like a monster. Um, you know, if he's only 265, with his frame, he can bulk up. He's going to gain some weight. I'm not even worried about that at all. And his frame can hold that. How fast he is. You know, whenever he whenever he does get, build up some uh, speed, dude's an absolute monster. You know, he I think he's an absolute nightmare to high school quarterbacks, running backs. And I think he's going to be a monster at the next level. But without further ado, let's jump right into his highlights. All right, so here we go. You're going to see him coming right through the middle on this play. Like I said, I've already seen these highlights, and I'm probably going to be just as animated as I was the first time. Look at him. <laughs> this quarterback. <laughs> I don't know how you don't feel that guy. He saw this huge monster coming right at him, and uh, you got to feel that pressure. And, uh, you know, he just took – that was a sack. Strip sack. And here he is again. Watch this. Puts all of his body weight. Look how big this guy is. He's playing in one of the highest classifications in the state of Florida. So this guy is going up against really good talent. Here he is again tracking down the quarterback. And you see the speed on display. Here he is on the edge again. Look at him. See how he comes up? I, you know, I get it's a twist. It's, it's a stunt move. But he does come out of his stance a little slower um, than you want. Here he is again working on the right tackle. And, I mean, he just blows right past them. That, that, that's just his athleticism, his speed just taking over. And here he is again, down, down on the bottom. And, I mean, like I said, he's beating left, left tackles, right tackles. It doesn't matter. Uh, th th this guy is just supremely talented. Here he is again. And this is where his speed shows up. See, right here, look, look at that. I mean, these guys are probably 100 pounds less than him. And he's tracking them down like it's nothing. You know, I mean, that's just, I mean, just his talent level. Here he is again. You know, it doesn't even matter. Like, he makes up for it with his speed. Yes, he gets out of his stance a little slower. But, man, once he gets going, man, he's like a freaking freight train. Here he is again, waiting for the waiting for the quarterback to make his move. He just shoves the offensive lineman out of the way. And that offensive lineman didn't, couldn't really handle him. Here he is at the top. And, I mean, again, oh, my goodness. I forgot about that. Oh, my goodness. He just, I feel bad for that quarterback. He, he, you know how weak you have to feel after that. The, the defense lineman just shoved you down with one one arm. Oh, my God. Here he is again and just gets off his block. He does a very good job, if not a great job, at getting off blocks. He doesn't stay. Here he is again, just getting off his block. The quarterback tries to scramble, and he's going to track that quarterback down without a, without a doubt. Here he is again. He's locked up with the lineman. See, whenever he locks up, he's got a long wingspan. He's six foot six and a half. He just uses that long wingspan and just forklifts the lineman and gets him out of his way. And like I said, whenever he learns the inside moves, 
when, whenever he gets a hold of an elite coach, man, this dude's going to be, uh, he could be unstoppable. There he is again. Look, getting in the backfield. You could just see how strong he is, just throwing people down in the backfield like the ragdolls. Here he is again. I don't know why you don't block him. And, you know, it's a good it's a, it's a good game, but I don't know why you don't block that guy. Here he is. He's locked up with the offensive lineman. And when he gets off of him, those offensive linemen can't keep up with him. He's too fast. Now, the highlights weren't long, but you could tell this guy has something. Just his God-given talent alone. You can see that this guy's going to be A-OK -okay at the next level. You know, I'm not too worried about them, uh, 247 Sports Composite, dropping him down in the rankings. Or, you know, the composite's a compilation of, like, ESPN, Rivals, 247. You know, they just compile it all together. So maybe ESPN dropped him down. Who knows what happened. But I'm not worried about that. He's going to be a stud defense alignment. One of the three defense alignment that the Florida Gators got over this past weekend. But, hey, as always, everyone, I appreciate y'all watching this channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great one.